I didn't really expect this show to be that good from the beginning. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't have very high expectations, but ReZero has shown me something that no anime has ever shown me in like the 110 that I've watched so far. And I, it was a pleasant surprise, I'm not gonna lie. I really enjoyed it. Before we get into this video, I just wanna let you know that I'm. it's gonna be a spoiler warning. Like I'm talking about the entirety of the show here and I'm talking about certain events that happen and big plot twists and shit. So you've been warned. If you wanna go watch the show, then watch the video, that's perfectly fine. And also before we get into the video, Make sure you hit that like subscribe button, hit that notification bell just so you know when I post and you know, let's get into it. So we're going to start off with the story, the story in general. The story is really good, but you have to pay attention because a lot of there's a lot of like little details that you can miss out on and you will be lost. Like you will be completely lost for the entire show. It's kind of like math class. Like you miss one lesson in math class and next thing you know, they using that same lesson for many units like down the line and now you just behind for the rest of the semester. Like it's exactly like that. Subaru has the main character, which is Subaru, he has a ability and a curse called return by death, which means that he can respawn on at a particular checkpoint before he died. Kind of like how video games like normal platformers work type shit. You would think that a MC that's able to die and come back and just redo and like fix all his mistakes, you would think that would be a boring concept, right? But I think that Subaru writing as a character, Subaru's writing is so good and he's so realistic and they show all the suffering that he goes through even though he can come back and fix his mistakes as well. Like, even though he can do that. It doesn't matter because he's suffering so much by dying over and over and over again and watching people that he loved die over and over and over again. There are there are a numerous amount of plot twists in this shit. Like a numerous amount. And I love them all. Most of them I didn't see coming at all. And I, I think that's really cool because like for anime to surprise me for since I watched so many of them, I think it's a really refreshing feeling. Honestly, I'm disappointed because where it ended he got the squad together and fucking rim is still a vegetable like what the like what do you mean the story isn't is a continuing yet like i hope they come out with a season three because I, I really love this show and i really want to see what this is going next because rim is still asleep and no one remembers her still so now let's get into the characters there are a lot of good characters in this show and i mean a lot of good characters in this show and they all have a purpose and they all get their shine at the perfect time if that makes sense they even made Otto cool like Otto was just like to me Otto was just that nigga that threw Subaru off the carriage like he was literally that like that was it but they they further developed him and he become one of my favorite characters and I like him I like Otto Otto's really cool the character progression in this show is really good as well like characters that's like you wouldn't like at all or you didn't think they have any depth have some kind of importance to the story in some like way it, it may not be the most significant way but their characters get they shine like side characters definitely get they shine in this show uh my favorite characters in this show subaru of course mc he's very realistic for his uh in his role he's like really realistic i think a lot of people would react maybe a little less radically but a lot of people will react the exact same way to the situation that he was put in all the suffering and the pain that he felt when he was responding and he was dying over and over and over again like any normal human being would not be able to keep their mental fortitude like that you can see how many times Subaru broke down like I, I damn near got like I felt bad and got tired of it because he got like he, it was so many mental breakdowns over and over and over again. I'm like, damn, bro, can my nigga get a W for once? Like, holy shit, like, they beating the shit out of him. And like his development is really cool too. Like he went from being like this really hopeless weak nigga to being like a a strong will, smart strategist with like a decent amount of potential. I think he has a, a decent affinity for spirits now and. You know, I would like to see that further going on. That's why you need to give us a season three, goddammit. Otto. Otto's one of my favorite characters as well. He went from being a nigga that threw Subaru off the carriage to being one of his closest friends and growing a backbone and having some abilities that's useful. Like Otto's really cool. Like I didn't think I didn't think I was gonna like Otto because he just threw that nigga off the carriage. 
Like, I'm just be honest with you. I didn't think I was going to like Otto that much. But Otto turned out to be a really cool character. And I mean, really cool. Uh, Roswell. Roswell started off as like this real chill, cool, kind of weird nigga. They just talk funny. I know you know what I'm talking about, but that nigga be holding out that nah. I'm like, hey, bro, what do you say? No one say your nah. Like, bro, what the fuck is that? But then, like, you just watch like his descent into complete madness and complete like he becomes a complete psychopath over the story. And when you find out, watching his story unravel, you find out that he's responsible for 99 percent of Subaru's like turmoil and fucking suffering like you'd be like damn bro like that's fucked up but this is like beautiful writing because you didn't really expect this to happen and when you found out his real origins of who how he's connected to like beatrice and how he's connected to uh, the witch agreed i forgot her name it's some really cool character development in this show speaking of speaking of the devil beatrice beatrice is a really good character like a really good character to me personally because she started off as like this really strong you could tell she was strong she was real like stubborn but she was like really mysterious because you didn't know that much about her and that goes for a few characters in this show like you didn't know that much about her and like watching her like true purpose unravel like her standing in the library waiting for that person and all that shit like it's so cool it's so good and they gave her a lot of character development in like the last 10 episodes. It was really fucking good. Like I really love Beatrice's story. I see why all the neckbeard, the fucking neckbeard Discord mod ass niggas like Rem. Rem's a really cool character. Now the body pillows are still insane. Like you still need mental help and you still need to burn all them bitches. The body pillows are wild. But she's a ride or die character. Like she's has like loyalty that's second to none like unrivaled loyalty completely too bad she's second to amelia but you know speaking of the devil amelia as well i like her a lot too she was a character that we've seen so much of but we see her a lot in the show but we don't know that much until the end like her origins is like really they they really like stray away from talk about her origins a lot like until the end of the show like, she don't even get into it herself. She don't really tell Subaru much about what she came from. But that's because her memories were, like, her memories were, like, like held captive or some shit. I, I forgot already. I ain't gonna lie, my bad. And seeing her, like, stay loyal to her trying to unify people of all kinds, like, elves, humans, uh, demi-humans, or whatever the fuck is in that verse. Like, her keeping that goal even after all the shit that she went through is like really cool to me like because she she also grew a backbone too because like that first trial was beating her ass like she felt that bit like at least like five times in the last life i think and i think like even before subaru died all the time she was failing like three times in a row type shit so i really like to see i really like like how she grew a backbone and how she like faced her past and shit like that. And it was also interesting to find out more about where she came from because she was on she was on the screen so much, but we didn't know much about her. Like I said earlier, I love most of the characters in this show. Like this character, this character development in this show is really good. This, the writers do a really good job at like perfectly setting up like character reveals and like having those characters come back later on in the story to help out like when puck came back to uh to help ram or ram or ram whatever the fuck her name is like that was really cool like it, it was a little hype moment for because we ain't seen puck in a while right there like, it, we ain't seen puck since since she did her contract like it's been it's been a lot of episodes since then so it was just really it's a really cool experience man really cool last show this this show is really good man like this show is extremely good and it was such a pleasant surprise because i didn't like i said earlier well i didn't expect much from it I, I i thought this was just gonna be another like you watch it forget it type shit but this is actually like a really good show and if you haven't watched it yet please watch it like this show is funny it takes itself seriously at the right times subaru isn't the most likable mc i can see why people don't like him but his, it's realistic. Like, the way he thinks in the conversation, interactions between characters are very realistic. Like, Subaru isn't the most likable MC, I know. But I like him. Like, Subaru's cool to me. 
but I think that you will enjoy the side characters in this show if you don't like Subaru. Like, I think that you can even, you will definitely appreciate the side characters in this show and how they treat them. I'm going to pray and hope for a season three. I'm going to pray and hope very hard for a season three. It, it might not happen. It might happen. I'm going to hope for it because Rem is still asleep and them, them uh, archbishops for the witch cult are still out there and they're still, you know, terrorizing niggas. They still need to be dealt with, especially that gluttony nigga. And uh, I think I'm going to end it there, man. Like always, man, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell just so you know when I can post or when I post. And, you know, have a good day, man. Peace. At home, I'm not respected. People so fresh when the devil is sick and ridiculous. See what that he will do. I would just pull in that positive thoughts. You was down, I wanted to be with you. I would just burn up my love. I'm glad I'm my father. You want to show me the truth. Man, if I was so depressed, you tell me, can't mess up.